All praises are due to Allah. We praise him and ask his, his support. We seek his guidance, we ask him for forgiveness, and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves and from our sinful actions. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All praises are due to Allah. We praise him and ask him his support. We seek his guidance, we ask him his forgiveness, and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves and from our sinful actions. Whoever Allah guides, no one can lead astray. And whoever he misguides will find none to guide him to the right way. I testify that there is no God except Allah alone without any partner. He gives life and causes death. He has power over all things. And I testify that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his servant and messenger, the best of his creation and his most beloved. He delivered the message, fulfilled the trust, advised the nation, removed the darkness from it, and he strove in the path of the religion until his death. May Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, his family, his companions, and those who have treaded his path of excellence and followed his guidance until the day of judgment. O oh, you who believe, keep your duty to Allah and fear him and speak always the truth. He will direct you to do righteous good deeds and will forgive you your sins. And whosoever obeys Allah and his messengers has indeed achieved a great achievement. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it was narrated from Ali ibn Abi Talib that he said, the last words which the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, spoke were, prayer, prayer and fear Allah about those whom, under your, whom are under your authority. Certainly, dear Muslims, prayer is one of the most important acts of worship in Islam. It is the pillar and comes directly after the testimony of faith. So the second pillar of Islam. It is the most regular compulsory action in a Muslim's life. We fast just one month a year. We must give obligatory charity and alms zakat once a year. Pilgrimage to the sacred house is only once a lifetime. However, prayer is the one act that must be fulfilled at least five times a day, regardless of the circumstances. Prayer is the sign of Islam. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said there is nothing different between a Muslim and a non-Muslim except performing prayers. Moreover, we know that Allah makes the prayers a source of happiness and refuge for the distressed. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I find most comfort in prayer. He would also say often, O oh Bilal, give us comfort by calling for prayer, by calling the Adhan. It is the only obligation that not, does not exempt any Muslim it is the only obligation that no Muslim is exempt from, man or woman. In settling down or in traveling, in sickness or in health, in poverty or in wealth, every sane adult Muslim is responsible for performing prayers. Dear Muslims, our talk today is not about the five daily compulsory prayers. By the will and grace of Allah, most Muslims are good at keeping those. Our talk instead is about the optional prayers, which are called nawafil in Islam. These are the prayers which are performed either before or after the compulsory ones. And we know from the authentic historical reports that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to perform them regularly. Unfortunately, a lot of Muslims today are not good at keeping up with this extra optional prayer. We know that they are important because they complement the compuls compulsory prayers if there is a deficiency or shortcoming on the Day of Judgment. Today, dear brothers and sisters, we will talk about three things. Firstly, the virtue and importance of the daily optional prayers, the nawafil. Secondly, the number of optional prayers that the Prophet, peace be upon him, performed regularly. Thirdly, their timings. Dear Muslims, with regard to the virtue of optional prayers, we know they get us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, do lots of prostration, sajda, for the sake of Allah, for you will not make a single prostration without, except that you would be elevated a degree and sin would be removed from you because of it. So all, Prophet Sallallahu is saying that we will not make a single sajda with sincerity, except that we will be elevated or sin will be removed from us. Optional prayers are one of the strongest means for attaining love and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
It was narrated by the Prophet, peace be upon him, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my slave will keep drawing closer to me through performing optional good deeds till I love him. When I love him, I will become his hearing through which he hears, his sight through which he sees, his hand with which he strikes, his leg with which he walks, and if he asks something from me, I give him. And if he asks my protection, I shall protect him. The optional prayers complement any shortcoming in the compulsory prayers. Of course, none of us are perfect, and no prayer is free from distraction or mistake. In that situation, the reward from the optional prayer is taken to complete and correct that of the compulsory ones. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the first thing about which the people will be called to account on the day of judgment is their prayer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to the angels, though he knows better, look into the prayer of my slave and see whether he has offered it perfectly or imperfectly. If it is perfect, that will be recorded perfect. If it is imperfect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, see if there are some optional prayers offered by my slave. If there is optional prayer to his credit, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, compensate the obligatory prayer by the optional prayer for my slave. Then all actions will be considered likewise. SubhanAllah. Dear Muslims, with regard to the number of optional prayers the Prophet, peace be upon him, performed regularly, there are tw 10 or 12 units of prayer, two narrations, performed throughout the day and night. It was narrated by Ibn Umar. He said, I remember 10 rakat units of optional prayer from the Prophet. Two before Zuhr and two after it. Two rakat after Maghrib prayer in his house and two rakat after Isha night prayer in his house and two rakat before Fajr morning prayer. We also have an alter alternative narration from Umm Habiba which tells us about 12 rakat in which the Prophet peace be upon him said, whoever play prays 12 rakat in a day and night, a house will be built for him in paradise. Four rakat before Zuhr and two after it, two rakat after Maghrib, two rakat after Isha, and two rakat before Fajr. We'll continue in the second khutbah. All praises are due to Allah. We praise him and ask him his support. We seek his guidance and we ask him his forgiveness and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves and our sinful actions. Whoever Allah guides, no one can lead astray and whoever he misguides will find none to guide him to the right way. I testify that there is no God except Allah alone without any partner. He gives life and causes death he has power over all things, and I testify that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his servant and messenger, the best of his creation and his most beloved. He delivered the message of Islam, fulfilled the trust, advised the nation, removed the darkness from it, and he strove in the path of the religion until his death. May Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, his family, his companions, and those who followed his guidance until the day of judgment. O you who believe, Fear Allah as he should be feared, and do not die except as Muslims. Dear Muslims, with the regard to the timings of the optional prayers, we know that the two rakat before the morning prayer are the most important. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the two rakat before morning prayer are better than this world and everything in it. And in another report, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, do not miss out the two rakat before Fajr, even if you are being driven away by the horses of your enemies. So even if you're in the midst of battle. Aisha radiallahu an reported that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was not as particular about performing the optional prayers as much as the two rakat before the morning prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to pray the two rakat of Fajr every day while traveling and while settled in war and in peace. If you miss them before, 
you can pray them afterwards, even if it means praying them after sunrise, okay? There are different narrations for the optional prayers of noon, of dhuhr. Some have reported two before and two after, as is narrated by Bukhari from the narration of Ibn Umar that we mentioned. It is also correct to pray two before and four after, or even four before and four after. It was narrated by the Prophet, peace be upon him, that said, whoever prays four rakat before noon prayer, before uh, dhuhr, and four after it, then the hellfire will be forbidden to touch his face. With regards to sunset prayer, it is reported that it is to pray, that we are to pray two rakat after it. It is also commendable to pray two rakat after Isha, after the night prayer. Dear Muslims, one of the very important optional prayers that we have not mentioned yet is that of Witr, which is the last optional prayer to be performed at night. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah is Witr, is single, odd. It's the meaning of Witr, and loves what is Witr. So perform Witr prayer. O followers of Allah, observe the Witr. It was also narrated by Ibn Umar that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, make Witr your last prayer at night. The timing of Witr is any time from Isha till before dawn time. The last optional prayer that we will talk about today is that of Duha, or early daytime optional prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when you get up in the morning, charity is due from every one of your joints. There is charity in every veneration of Allah. There is charity in every subhanAllah. There is charity in every glorification of Allah, in every Allahu Akbar. There is charity in every praising of Allah, in every Alhamdulillah. And there is charity in every declaration of the oneness of Allah, every La ilaha illallah. There is charity in, and there is charity in enjoining the good that there is in charity and encouraging others to do this. And there is charity in forbidding evil. He, peace be upon him, added that praying two rakat of duha is equal to all of this charity in reward. A duha prayer can be prayed from about 15 minutes after sunrise until about 15 minutes before the her prayer. It's two rakat. It is best of you to pray the compulsory prayers in the mosque, but you can also pray the optional prayer at the masajid as well. As Imam al-Bukhari narrated from Ibn Umar that he said, I offered with the Prophet, peace be upon him, two rakat before Zahar and two rakat after. Two rakat after Maghrib, um, two rakat after Isha and the Friday prayers. Those of Maghrib and Isha were offered in his house. It is much better to perform the optional prayer at home. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when you have finished your obligatory prayer in the mosque, you should observe your optional prayer at home because Allah will bless your homes because of your prayer in it. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us keep our obligations and optional good deeds and to reward us for them. I mean. Our Lord, make us Muslims in submission to you and from our descendants, a Muslim nation in submission to you. And show us our rights and accept our repentance. Indeed, you are the most accepting of repentance, the merciful. Our Lord, do not impose blame upon us if we have forgotten or erred. Our Lord, lay upon us not a burden like that which you laid upon those before us. Our Lord, burden us not which that, with that which we have no ability to bear. And pardon us and forgive us and have mercy upon us. You are our protector, so give us victory over the disbelieving people. Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate after you have guided us and grant us from yourself mercy. Indeed, you are the bestower. Those who say, our Lord, indeed, we have believed, so forgive our sins and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Our Lord, indeed, we have heard our caller calling to faith, saying, believe in your Lord, and we have believed. Our Lord, forgive us our sins and remove from us our misdeeds and cause us to die with righteousness. 
Our Lord, grant us what you promised us through your messengers and do not disgrace us on the day of resurrection. Indeed, you do not fail in your promise. Our Lord, give us in this world that which is good and in the hereafter that which is good and protect us from the punishment of the fire.